Science, called The Art of Smart Thinking, as well as a couple copies of the Better Baby book left. Dr. Hart is the founder and head of BioCyberNot. Reading his whole background would take a very long time, and I had the great fortune of spending uh, a week with him in 2008 when I did my first BioCyberNot training. I just did my two and a half, I did a half one in the middle there, and my last full training was a few weeks ago. And each of these is, is a really, really intense thing that I could sort of categorize as maybe the, the Rolls Royce of neurofeedback. It's not just using brain training, it's using brain training in conjunction with a battery of, of testing scales that really help you to not confuse yourself anymore. One of the things that I learned in this training was when I was getting in my own way. Because honestly, all of us know at some level that if you could just get out of your own way, you would kick some serious ass. The difficulty, though, is that knowing when you're, on, when you're in your own way is very, very difficult for most people to do without some sort of training. And sometimes people do meditation, and there's all sorts of practices to build this awareness of the state of your mind and of your ego. What attracted me to Dr. Hart's work originally was the 12 IQ points in seven days compared to 20 years of Zen meditation. I'm like, seems like a pretty fast path to me. I'm done with that. You know, quick, meditate faster. But there's a lot more to it than that, as I found out during the training. So it's my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Hart, who's going to talk about this type of brain training and what it can do for performance. thinking um, can be had up at the desk. I have, most of them are in English. I have one copy in French, one in German, one in Spanish, and if you want Russian or Polish, you'll have to order that. But it's also on Amazon in English. So I have a clicker. Where is that clicker? Apologies. There you go. There we go. success. Next slide. Next. Okay, Tony Robbins said, the foremost power is awareness. Next. Ramdas said, the only activity with any intrinsic and absolute worth is that of becoming more conscious. Next. Number one purpose here. I want to show you how to take action to awaken your own brain and mind into the power of higher creativity and greater intelligence, which of course will lead to greater success. Also, to heal your brain and mind, to have better relationships, reverse aging in your brain, and many, many other side effects of the Alpha 1 training. Next. All of this requires working very wisely with your brainwaves. What are brainwaves? Well, they have names. The slowest is delta, faster is theta, then alpha, then beta, then gamma waves. And here are the frequency ranges. Delta is 0 to 4 cycles per second, theta 4 to 7. We're going to focus here on alpha, which is 8 to 13. Or we do theta trainings, delta trainings, and alpha trainings. Delta and beta are more advanced. Beta is 13 to 25, associated with stress and anxiety. You probably don't need more of those. And gamma waves, 25 to 100. Biosabina Institute brainwave training programs will increase your alpha. The goal is to up your alpha. Here's a blow up of what alpha waves actually look like. This is taken off of a uh, polygraph recording. Uh, the head sites are typically from the International 1020 system, and we will do uh, eight sites, four on each hemisphere. Here is the example of an eight-channel brainwave of a depressed 74-year-old woman before the training, and there it is after. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to see that there are massive and profound 
changes in the brainwaves. The alpha have gotten bigger, and this is the back of the head, this is the front of the head, and so in addition to the alpha waves getting bigger, they've also spread forward on the head, very much in the pattern that you would see after 20 plus years of Zen meditation. I have a fourfold agenda here today to create and share with you in some fun, to share with you some amazing, valuable information about your own brainwaves, to show you how you can make massive beneficial changes in your brainwaves, and then live your life in a state of creativity, happiness, and joy. Also then show you how to take action to awaken your own brain and mind into the power of higher creativity and greater intelligence. Remember Tony Robbins said, the foremost power is awareness. So how do we get more of that? Einstein spoke on the topic of awareness, saying problems cannot be solved at the same level of awareness they were created. And yours truly said that the Alpha One brainwave training expands your awareness more than 20 years of Zen meditation. My aim when I first started this work was higher awareness for everyone. However, this I discovered was obstructed by most people having conscious and unconscious emotional traumas which limits your IQ, limits your creativity, limits the success of your relationships, business as well as personal. In learning how to heal those emotional traumas, I discovered how to achieve peak performance in everything. If you can think of one thing, one area in your life or in anyone's life where they strive to excel that doesn't involve their brain activity, I would be keen to hear about it. Okay, Everything you do depends on your brain activity. We'll cover 10 topics. Ultimate peak performers. I had the privilege of working with two 12-man teams of U.S. Army Green Berets. And I was told by the company captain that um, these are really tough guys and they've eaten up and spit out a lot of consultants that have come before them to speak. And I said, well, I don't care. I'm just going to talk about their brain lives. So I went in and they were sort of chip on the shoulder, skeptical. And I said, look, all of you guys are ultimate peak performers. And you are that because you have unique brain waves. And I know you get up every day determined to be better in some way related to your mission by the end of the day. And that is a kind of dedication. You have an ethos of training, which comes from the fact that you have spectacular brain waves. And so I'm here to help you to train your brain in order to be even better at what you do. And it turns out that they were probably the best group I had ever worked with because they would come in each day and if there was an ego issue or an attitude or a belief that stood in the way of their making progress, they would chuck it and charge for it. It was really amazing working with them. Brainwaves rule. Any experience that you have, you have only when you have the appropriate pattern of brainwaves. And so this leads us to the psychophysiological principle. This and this are the same. Brainwaves rule and the psychophysiological principle. Same thing, different words. Any experience you have as a living human being, you have only while you have a certain pattern of brainwaves. If you change your brainwaves, you will change your experiences, and you change fundamentally who you are at an identity level. There's only one thing other than this training that can change someone at an identity level, and that's a spiritual awakening. So there may be some relationship between this process. But that's not what we're here to focus on. We're here to focus on how you can change your brainwaves so that you can be the ultimate peak performer in whatever it is you do. Now, in logic, there's a technique called reducto ad absurdum. You take a proposition you don't know whether it's true or not, and you carry it to the extreme. And if it's true in the extreme, it's likely to be true in the way that it was just stated. Like any experience you have as a living human being, you have only when you have the appropriate pattern of brainwaves. OK, well, let's go to the extreme. Flat brainwaves, no brainwaves. That's the medical definition of death. And so once you have flat brainwaves, you no longer have the experiences of a living human being. The view of psychiatry is that personality is stable over the adult lifespan. So what we have here is a radically new paradigm of transformation with biosegonite uh, training. Changing fundamentally who you are, like everybody has at some level because of emotional traumas, loser dude or loser gal hidden within them. Okay? This can be expunged, it can be altered by changing your brain waves. 
because that's the essence of transformation. You become a success generator. All experiences have unique pattern of brainwaves, thinking, feeling, behavior. For example, analyzing, deducing, categorizing, and reflecting are all slightly different, and yet they're very different from anger, fear, compassion, joy, ecstasy, and delight. They're unique brainwaves for all of these. Even complex skills like marksmanship, bicycling, flying an airplane, playing a musical instrument, sinking a putt, basketball player, free throw, all of these have unique pattern of brainwaves. And all of the sports-related ones you can only measure brainwaves when people are still. So, uh, ball for putting, basketball player, a free throw, archer, or marksman. Just before their best shots, there will be a big burst of alpha. If not, it's not going to be one of their best shots. So, the correlation between the state of oneness that you and the arrow, or you and the bullet and the target obtain, leads to your best shots. This state of oneness is easy in alpha. This means that if you are doing anything in your life that is working, it's only working because that something is creating, accidentally, the right brainwaves. Is it luck? Is it good genes? Is it right living? How to sustain it and improve it? It being the right brainwaves. What if you have it? How to get it and sustain it if you don't have it? Well, the answer is neurofeedback, number three of ten topics. How you can be sure to have the right brainwaves is to train them. First axiom of biofeedback, any process in our brains or our bodies of which we can be made aware, we can learn to control. So if somebody has a, a, a sense of poise, presence, majesty, charisma, guess what? They have the brainwaves for that. You want to have those experiences, charisma? All you have to do is train the brainwaves that are associated with it. Neurofeedback can take people from dysfunction all the way to hyperfunction. Under dysfunction, we have stress reduction, tension deficit, conflict resolution, personality therapy, geriatrics, preservation and restoration. As people age, their alpha brain waves drop out. Even meditation can't reverse it, it can just slow it down. This process can actually reverse aging in the brain. At one point when I was at UCSF, I had a quarter million dollar grant from uh, National Institute of Mental Health, and we worked with women who were from 60 up into their 80s, and it was like they had drunk from the fountain of youth. And we did six and 12 month follow-ups. They were better, of course, right after the training. Six months later, better still. 12 months later, better still. High blood pressure, chronic pain, alcohol and drug abuse. And then hyperfunction, creativity enhancement. When we trained a group of Stanford Research Institute scientists measuring their brainwaves before and after, the, their creativity before and after, their average increase was 50%. One summer, everyone who came through the training, I gave them the Kaufman Adolescent and Adult Intelligence Test. The average gain in IQ was 11.7 points. Their corporate optimal function programs, athletic peak performance, meditation, spiritual development, education, and mastery, we can do brain-friendly learning, always speaking into the brain's listening. Entertainment, like virtual reality, controlled by your brainwaves. And transcendent uses, like shared feedback. Wrong practice does not make perfect, Biocybernaut training changes wrong practice to right practice, giving you feedback. Feedback's essential to all learning. At a deep level, you do methods to change wrong brainwaves to right brainwaves. Doing good methods is an indirect way of producing the right brainwaves. To take personal development to the next level, you will now have direct control of your own brainwaves. By improving self-control of our own brain states, we dramatically improve our abilities to operate at optimal levels of mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical activities. Biocybernaut brainwave training will rocket you into Superman status among humans. An individual with such a range of capabilities is far outside the range of the cultural norms. The appearance of such individuals, even in small numbers, will have an enormous impact on established cultural values, cultural you know, institutions, and will rapidly redefine our cultural beliefs about what is possible, what is desirable, and even what is normal. A culture of consciously self-regulating individuals will bear little resemblance to any culture as we know it, and it's beyond our current abilities to fully imagine. 